It's a virtuous woman? I think so, yes. I know that's No, I'm serious. I, mean, that seems I like am a Tucker. Good, I don't wanna I don't wanna That seems like good advice. I don't wanna come across as extreme, but yes, I am. And what's actually funny is I really believe most of the things I'm saying were accepted by absolutely everybody 15 years ago, 10 years ago. Yeah. And now it's public enemy number one. And it's because of the mass influence I have. At one point, I became the most Googled man on earth at one point. And it's a scary situation. I mean, if you're arguing that it's really important for a man to find a good woman, yep. a decent woman, yep. an honest woman, yep. that's, that's the truest thing that's ever been said. I Absolutely. Mean, that's the most important thing any man can do. I mean, I can just tell you firsthand. Oh, thank you very much. Married 32 years. That's the most important thing. And you think saying that angered people? Absolutely. Because I'm arguing the only way to do that is via masculine excellence. I'm saying in the world we live in today, it's hyper competitive. And if you want to be the kind of man that has the choice of women to choose a good one, you need to be an excellent man. It's no longer acceptable for you to just be an average Joe or below average. You have to get up and you have to work hard and you have to be smart and interesting and you have to be charismatic and make some money and be in good shape and you have to try very hard. And unfortunately for them, if you follow that path as a man and you become successful in those realms, you end up being the kind of person who resists enslavement. You become the kind of person who wakes up and says, no, I don't believe in that. That doesn't make sense to me. I can't imagine a better message than that. If you want a good society, so then you have to argue and sit and say, do these people want a happy functioning society or do they want something else? What do you think? I think that I would never kill myself. And I also- <laughs> Just throwing that out there. And I also think that when you, when you want to conquer a society, you kill the military age males. That's what you do. That's the first thing you've, they've ever done. They walk in and all the men have to have their throats cut. They can't perhaps do that, but they can certainly cut their balls off. And then you can't resist. And I think there's certainly a movement to ensure that there's very little resistance left inside of the number one demographic, which is required to resist oppression, which are military age males. And they don't want those kind of people waking up with any kind of self-respect or standards or to say, no, I don't accept this. I do not need a ninth injection. They don't want that. They want you to sit and say, mm, I don't need it. But news said so, so, oh, well. So in the one interview that, you and I did. You had a line that I've been thinking about ever since. I thought it was so interesting. I never thought of it before. You said that a lot of people went along with the vax yep. and that you didn't judge them because yep. facts change. But now that we know that yep. a lot of what we were told was wrong and some of it was a lie, it is a requirement of your own dignity, of your own self-respect to say so. Completely. And people should apologize. I really do believe, and I'm, I have nothing against the people who fell for the propaganda, fell for the programming. Yes, the vaccine. yes, I agree. Fine. But you should wake up and say, I was fooled. I've learned my lesson. I will not be fooled again. But if you were fooled by the MSM and took the injection and you continue to be fooled and you've not self-reflected and you've not realized that they lied to you the entire way and you now believe the new bunch of lies that are all over the television, then there's something wrong with you. Or you don't care that you were lied to. You don't care that you were lied to because I think a lot of this is actually genuinely cowardice. I think it's a very easy worldview. The life is easier if you accept the news tells the truth. Yes. Everything they want me to believe is true. Everything's nice and simple. Good guys, bad guys. Doop -de doop -de doop doop. And if you want to actually wake up, it takes a degree of bravery because then you have to destroy your entire worldview. Everything you've ever understood and everything you're told. And you have to really look at the world and go, oh, this is a mess. And that takes bravery. And once again, that's why they don't want men to be brave. They want you to sit there and go, oh, it's easier if just, you know, CNN said, so it must be true. And it's, it's cowardice. And they're trying to instill cowardice in all of us. That's, that's what they're, they're trying very hard to do. And I think even just me as a person, the people who hate me, my detractors who dislike me so much, even if I say nothing, I just turn up big, bald, strong, fast car. But you know, it's just me. I'm, I'm like the enemy to them because I, I symbolize men who don't comply and not don't comply in a, uh, in a negative law breaking way, but don't comply in a, if we don't agree with that, or we don't see common sense in that, we're going to politely decline. And that's simply not allowed.